Uh, from A to B, 24% of the gravitational potential energy is transferred to kinetic energy. Show that the velocity is 12 meters per second, right? So, so notice that this is 20, that's 50. So the change in height really is, this is 30 meters, right? Okay, the total potential energy, right, is mgh, so that's 65 times 9.81 times 30, right? That total energy is, yeah, let's see, 30 times 65 times 9.81 is 19,129.5, but only 24% of that turns into kinetic, right? So times you got to multiply by 0.24 to figure out how much turns into kinetic. So times 0.24, and that's 4591. Joules. Okay, so that is the that's the kinetic energy, right? It's 24%, right? Okay. So then you're just going to use that and set it equal to kinetic energy, right? So 4591.08 is equal to kinetic energy. So use the formula for kinetic energy. Right, and so and I actually get 11.88 meters per second, okay, which is why that's pretty close. Okay, what's interesting is in the mark scheme, you have to, the, the markers have to see the, the unrounded version. They have to see 11.9 or 11.88 in order to give the second mark, because of course they give you the answer. Okay, now on the final, I'm gonna change this slightly. I'm gonna say that the velocity is 12 meters per second, how much energy is lost, right? And so for that, what you're gonna do is find this potential energy, find that kinetic energy, and then just subtract them, okay? The, um, the, the total potential energy minus the kinetic energy will be the energy lost. Same, same type of problem, only, I don't know, I just thought that would be a better question.